Hey everybody, it's Future Inventions here, and today I'm going to be building a Van de Graaff generator. Now, this is a device that um, generates a lot of static electricity, and it's pretty cool. So, I got this kit from, or rather, I got it from uh, some relatives who got it from some company called Signs First. I have a whole instruction manual here, and I'm going to be building it today because it looks pretty fun. So, it says that the things I need, or the tools I need rather, one Phillips screwdriver, I need this, I also need a uh, flathead sc screwdriver, and some pliers, but I have a lot more than that here. I also got some scissors and some wire glue just in case. So let's unpack this box. A plastic bag full of stuff. Looks like um, some plastic stuff, some wires, a hose clamp, and some kind of uh, belt right here. Power cable. Little bag of like nuts and bolts and stuff that we need. A motor. I also have um, like the main parts, the large parts here. I have the uh, the base comes apart. Here's the uh, cylinder that goes in here. The big metal dome that goes on top, right up here. So, it's pretty cool, and I will be building this. Okay, the first step here is to take this, which is the base, and we need to put the uh, cable into it. So, we have the cable here. This is the strain relief, as they put it in the instructions, and you want to push this in about to here on the cable and then you have this part too and you should leave a little bit of a gap there so then we are going to take it and on this side not the one with the two studs we're going to take this put it in and I'm going to tighten it so that now it is kind of coming out right about here. Okay, so now I got some more parts that we needed, and now I'm on to step two. And I needed a measuring tape because I had to measure the size of these screws. But basically the instructions say that you will want uh, screws that are a half inch long and they are 8 to 32 and you also need I believe these are um, whoops lock washers uh, I've seen them in a robotics platform that I use called VEX and you also need some nuts so um, now we're going to put in this motor kind of um, base here so you're going to look for the this kind of flatter side. It's kind of flatter than this. So see that's kind of flat. And then you will put it on the flatter side there so it fits flush. If you have it the other way around, it's going to kind of like stick out. So we're going to go like that. Put the screw in and then flip it over. And we got the screwdriver. So, I'm going to put one of these on here, and then a nut. So then we take the screwdriver, and we start screwing it in. And you're going to do this for both sides. And when you are finished, it will look like this.
Okay guys, so there's a change in plans. Uh, the instructions have a different motor than we have, so they must have changed the kit a little bit. So I am going to do something different now. Sorry, I had to move uh, part of the camera tripod. So I have two uh, fourth inch screws, the motor and these two cables. and. I just noticed there's a bigger loop here and a smaller loop. So what we're going to do is take one of the screws here, uh, shove it through the hole, and this wire is going to go in that direction. Then the other screw is going to go in here. And the other wire will go in that direction. And then to put the motor on, we have to uh, just hold it up and then screw it in. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now I did that. I have the motor pointing in this direction. Here, I have this sticking out over on this side. This is the uh, little pulley wheel. Uh, then you can see I have the screws screwed in there. This wire is coming out over here, and the bottom wire is coming out over here. So, now for the next step. Okay, so now for this step, you need some smaller items, so I'm going to show it to you close up. This is the screw you'll need. It is a taper head screw and it is half an inch so you'll need that. You will also need this tiny little lock washer and it looks just like this. It's little and it's black and also very small nut and this little comb here. So now let's put it all together. First you will want to take the screw, put it right through there. Then we'll take the assembly. We have it right here and we're going to feed the screw through a little hole in the side. Then take your washer, put it right right here and then get the little nut here there we go and before you start screwing it in make sure that your comb is level so going to have to use a screwdriver to push it over a little bit so now it is level and now that it's all screwed in I do have to bend the comb up, so it has to be an eighth in of an inch away from this little pulley here, so I will need to measure it. And to bend it, I'm going to use uh, a flathead screwdriver, which I need anyways, so I'm going to put it in there and bend it up a little bit. And there. So now I will measure it, and you can always um, fix this later on. So it looks just about good. So now we are done with that step, and you see it should look a lot like that. Okay, for th so for this step we need this little red thing. It is a banana plug. So what you're going to want to do is uh, turn this little nut on here just enough so that it fits tightly in here. That's not tight enough, just a little more. And then you can just push it down and you don't even have to tighten it when it's uh, down there. So just like that. And then just push it in a little bit. Okay, so now it is in there. I'm just going to push, 
it's a little bit harder just to uh, make sure I have it in all the way and yeah I do okay so for this step we are going to attach some wires so let's get the uh, wall outlet plug aside and now this cable right here that we uh, attached to the motor here the green one we're going to take the lower one and kind of wrap it around here and put it on the same little screw that we used for the comb and then we're going to get another nut from our bag, a s another small nut and then just put it on there and oops, screw it on so then you'll have that attached okay again we have an issue with the instructions but I'll show you what to do uh, you take this nut off of the banana plug and then you're supposed to put this on it but you'll notice that it does not actually fit on there this is too small so I'm going to show you how to strip the wire and then you can put it on so I'm going to just cut that off and I'm going to cut a, just a tiny bit around here and then you push down a little bit and pull with the scissors looks like I have to go in a little bit deeper okay there we go so I just stripped that wire and now it is a little bit easier to wrap this around you can just wrap it around there but uh, I would also recommend you putting this green wire right here f first and then wrapping this around and then you can screw the little nut back on so now I have this kind of in a circular shape I can put that on there and then get the nut then just kinda screw it in with your finger okay so now we have these two wires from the motor we have them coming around here and uh, it says to use a wire nut we don't have a wire nut so they gave us something that looks kinda like a lego block and we'll just have to use this instead so unscrew the little things here and uh, put one of the motor the motor wires in there screw it back in so that it's nice and tight and it's not coming out I'm gonna screw it in just a little bit tighter there now it won't come out then we're going to take the other motor wire do the same for uh, the side right next to it make sure they're both pretty tight and now take uh, this right here and this is actually a capacitor and this little black kind of tubey thing on it is heat shield tubing so what I'm going to do is kind of uh, maybe go from this direction actually and it doesn't matter which one but you can fit this into one of these here so actually I'll do it this way this seems easier and then you will take the remaining black wire and stick it in right here kinda have to bend this over and there that's in and let's clamp it down so now we're pretty much done with the wiring okay so now we have all of the wiring finished uh, I tried to melt the heat shrink tubing but it didn't work and I also tested out the motor and fortunately that did work because that's more important so now I have this glass tube here and for this step we're going to install it so all you do is take it 
put it right here, push it on there, and then you get this uh, hose clamp that is included. You could tighten it a little bit more. They say in the instructions not to tighten it too much because you really don't want it to break. Okay, so I almost got it. Just a few more turns. And let me tell you, this is not that easy to turn. Um, it does help, like, if you actually go like this and turn it like that. That kind of makes it easier. Okay, so now we're done with that step. It is on pretty tight, and that's the way we want it. Okay, guys, now for the fun part. We have these two little bearings here. We have the top roller, this top uh, plastic ring with the comb, and this metal piece, and the conveyor belt pulley thingy majig. So we're going to move up. So now you can see the top. We're going. To okay. So now we are going to put this right here, and we're going to try to get it in line with the pulley on the bottom. So we have this here, and we want it to be kind of in line with it. So now we're going to take this, put a bearing on each side of it, like so. Whoops. And now we are going to get the pulley and open it up. Oh, well, there are two actually. That's pretty good. We're going to open it up and kind of uh, drop it through the hole here. Then we're going to take this put it around here, put the bearing back on that just dropped down, and we will try to position it here. And then the bearing should pop into a little, uh, kind of like a little hole there. So now that this is in position, we'll go back down and you want to have the pulley at the top and bottom kind of um, together so we're going to go back up here I need to turn it a little bit, I just realized that turn it in this direction and go back down so now you're going to want to reach up for the pulley okay now I got it and I'm going to wrap it around this pulley here. We'll turn around so you guys can see. And I'm going to wrap it around here. Posi you want to position it so that it's um, nice and, you know, it'll move the way it should and it'll stay on. And I think I did a pretty good job so that's it for that step. Okay, so now we have to put this cover on it. The instructions say to screw to uh, actually put some screws in it and screw it in, but that's not true. You can just lower it down, and if you line up the notches right, you might have to use a little bit of force to push around some of the places where it isn't fitting in. We might need to... Uh, use here instead. Line up the um, cutouts and then push it down and it should snap pretty firmly into place. So we have a cutout right there and this works too. Okay, just another thing. Um, if your motor isn't going right away and you need to push it to make it spin, one reason might be that the um, the belt is too stretchy, so you just kind of pull it a little bit, and um, it might work again. You just have to stretch it out a little. Also, you should clean the belt and these little uh, pulley pieces with rubbing alcohol, and I did that. And it would be better if you did that before you put this on, but oh well. 
And then the last final step is to put this on. So it looks pretty cool. So now we'll test it out. Now we are going to test the Van de Graaff generator. It's all built and it actually works really well. It's really crazy what you can do with it. So I will plug it in. Ow! Oh my god. Okay, so it's plugged in. You can see or or you can hear better yet that it is working. And yeah, it's really crackling. So this is some static electricity. It it really works really well and it's pretty cool but kind of scary at the same time. Okay, now I turned off the lights so that, so that, um, you know, you can see the, the electrical shocks a little bit better. And actually my Christmas tree is right next to this, and the ornaments are like moving around every time it makes a shock, which is kind of crazy. But, oh, where did I put it? I have some pencil sharpenings in this little thingy here I'm gonna see what it does and actually if you put like a little container of salt on it then the salt will start like swirling around in it so I'm gonna test this ah! okay that failed ah! <laughs> okay it's not doing anything does shock you. If you hold your hand on it, your hair doesn't stand up, but it still has a lot of electricity. shocks from pretty much anything you put on it. Also, before I had kind of like a little light and it lights up with static electricity and I put it on there and it really definitely works. So this is a fun project if you want to do it. Um, I'm not sure how it caught how much it costs. I'll have um, something up there, but I would give this product a five out of five because it's really cool. It works really well, and it was fun to build. Bye. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. 
Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash futureinvent. Check out our Facebook page. It's called the Future Invention Subscriber Page. All links will be below in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace.